everyone, welcome back to my channel, Secret Life of a Seamstress. I'm Sally, and in today's video I thought I'd talk to you all about the different versions I've made of the Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges dress pattern. Um, now if you follow me on Instagram or on, um, on here on YouTube or on my blog, you'll know how much I love this uh, dress pattern and how many times I've used it so far, with many plans to make different versions of it still. Um, so this is the Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges pattern, um, as you can see it's very battered and I need to store it differently somehow, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got six versions of the pattern to show you today, um, four dresses and two blouses, including the one that I'm wearing at the moment. So I will start with the one that I'm wearing, and that is um, this version, I'll just stand up and show you which is version one on the pattern and I made it in a viscose or a rayon um, in this blue kind of leaf print uh, fabric and it's really lovely and really drapey um, because it was the first version I made I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out and um, it was quite long on me so when I first made it in this fabric I did think it looked a bit like a nighty <laughs> um, so I did shorten it quite a lot um, and in the end I left off the ties because I just wanted that kind of floaty drapey kind of baby doll type dress look and um, yeah I wasn't sure about it at first but I think last summer I probably wore this more than any of my dresses because it's so light and cool and comfortable um, there's no, well there is a little bit of shaping but it doesn't tie you in at all so it's kind of the perfect thing to wear on a hot summer's day um, yeah I love it and it's turned out really nice in a viscose actually uh, which is not one of the recommended fabrics to use but I really like this fabric so I thought I'd give it a go and um, yeah I'm really pleased with how it turned out. The second version that I made was this version here modelled by my friend Lady McElroy. Um, <laughs> we call her Lady McElroy because I got this dress form for my birthday and we were thinking about what we could name her and um, I jokingly said Lady McElroy based on the fabric company Lady McElroy and my daughter thought that was hilarious and that name's kind of stuck with her so now she is Lady McElroy the dress form um, <laughs> which um, is really funny but um, yeah the one that she's, the one that she's kindly met, uh, wearing here is um, made from an elephant print chambray which I bought from John Lewis in the sale quite a long time ago and um, this is one of these fabrics that kind of gets better every time you wash it because it's got softer and softer and obviously you can tell that making this fabric the dress just has a little bit more structure to it um, so I did do the ties at the back for this one because I think if you're making it with a bit more of a sturdy fabric it kind of just brings it in at the waist a bit more and then it, looks, it gives a bit more shape and um, I love that one, that was very well worn last summer as well and then I just finished it with these ivory plastic buttons from John Lewis as well um, definitely one of my favourite makes so the third version I made was a sleeveless version I thought I'd try out a sleeveless version um, there's not actually a version of pattern pieces for a sleeveless version but what I did was um, I made the bodice as it is obviously but um, on the bodice pattern I just graded in from the shoulder down to the armhole um, I kind of cut off about a centimetre and a half off the shoulder and graded it down to the armhole just to give it a little bit more shape um, to the kind of the shoulder and the armhole piece <laughs> is that what you call it? I can't think what that piece is but you know what I mean um, yeah so that just gave it a little bit more shape because um, obviously if you're going to fit a sleeve in you would have more um, fabric here wouldn't you so that your sleeve hang, hung over um, so yeah that's all the changes I made and then in the armhole I finished it with a bit of um, extra bias binding which I just made using extra fabric um, and using the bias pattern that's included in the pattern so I just cut extra bias binding basically that was a very waffly way of explaining that but hopefully <laughs> it's simple enough and you'll get what I mean I finished this with bias binding that's what I mean and the neck as well, I just cut extra and um, yeah I really like this, I haven't actually worn this out yet because I didn't finish it until the very end of summer last year um, and then it got really cold so I didn't actually wear it but I'm looking forward to wearing it 
soon when it gets a bit warmer outside and we can actually go out again. Um, this fabric was another John Lewis buy actually that I got in the sale. Um, it's like a quilting cotton actually I think with like a westy print on it and it's a really nice blue colour. You can tell that I've gone with a bit of a blue theme with all of my dresses, um, apart from the last one. Um, I do like blue and I like denim, so yeah, I'm sure you can tell that. But yeah, I really like that one. I'm um, looking forward to trying a blouse version in the sleeveless um, armhole, uh, just to see how that turns out. And lastly with the dresses, if you've seen my most recent sew and tell, you would have already seen this. I'm sorry about that, but I thought I'd just show it again. Um, so this was made, um, version 1, as it is on the pattern, um, with an Atelier Brunette viscose um, in chestnut print. And um, it's like a diamond print viscose, so it's really pretty, it's really floaty. Um, yeah, really like this. It hangs and drapes really prettily and it just... It's kind of similar to the one that I'm wearing, I guess, in terms of style, except for the fact that I've put the tie on the back, so it just draws it in a little bit more of the waist. Um, yeah, I really like that. It's a little bit more dressy, I feel, in that fabric. But it would also be, it would be really lovely and cool. Quite see-through, so it doesn't need to slip under it or something, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So on to blouses that I've made using this pattern. This was a standard uh, version 2 of the pattern, and that is just basically a um, shapeless blouse. There's no darts in it or anything, or any kind of shaping. It's just literally a back and two fronts, button up in the same way as the dress is um, and then I've just done a short sleeve version. Obviously you could do like the three quarter length sleeve or you could make a sleeveless um, version as I did with my dog print dress but just to try the blouse version I just thought I would make this one and this is in like a polyester um, I think which I also bought from John Lewis. I think I must they must have had a big sale and I obviously stocked up on um, John Lewis fabrics and used them all to make Darling Ranges versions. <laughs> um, yeah, not really a lot more to say about that one, but really, really like that. And um, it's a really good kind of spring summer staple. It's really nice tucked in to jeans and high waisted things. I think this would look really nice as just like a cropped as it is, but a bit more cropped maybe so that you could wear it out. Um, with jeans, so that's something else to try. And then lastly, and you would have seen this in my latest sew and tell as well, um, but it's the cropped blouse version I made um, with a peplum bottom. And this was made using the dress pattern, so I made the bodice as it was, um, and then I cut an extra piece of fabric to make the peplum on the bottom, um, just to give it a kind of extra touch, make it a little bit different and um, I've made that quite cropped as you can see so it's to wear with like high waisted shorts and jeans and things in the summer um, and I really really like that as I said in my other video I think the only thing I would have changed is just to make this bit open so that it would have all been a blouse rather than having to put it over my head please this is made from an Atelier Brunette double gauze fabric and it's got a little embro embroidered cotton um, gold dots on it it's really pretty really beautiful soft fabric and I think that would be really comfortable and really cool to wear in summer and spring. Uh, I thought I'd just finish with some exciting news and that is that I finally managed to get a copy of this. The Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book and um, I'm really excited to get sewing some of those. Um, I think I'm going to start with the Sapphire trousers because they look really quick and easy to make and I've got some fabric that I can use for those. And um, I also want to make the play suit, the wrap front bodice play suit, and um, I've already got that one cut out actually. So I'm really excited to get on with those. There's so many lovely patterns in that book, and I think out of all of Tilly's books, this is probably the one that I'm going to use most. I think um, a lot of the patterns in here are really things that I'd like to wear and like to make for my own wardrobe and hopefully I'll have a couple of new makes to show you soon. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of my different Darling Ranges uh, dress and top patterns. Um, it's just thought it was something different to kind of film and show you. Um, I would love you to subscribe if you haven't already and I'd love you to like the video if you've enjoyed it and please do leave a comment or a question down below if you've got anything to say. I'd love to hear what you think um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!